presentation. So this presentation, it's about two-dimensional pa rin. This topic, it's all about the understanding of the drawing and the graphic one that we have. Okay? So uh, as we started, no? Yung two-dimensional one is makikita naman natin the relatedness to the next topic that we have. Okay. So number one, we have understanding, uh, drawing, and what is a drawing? We know that a drawing one can be done through our advanced technology nowadays, through computer clicking a mouse, or maybe a type of drawing in the most familiar that you know in your life, like stroking like in the pencil, no? in your piece of paper, cardboard, or whatsoever, no? Uh, papel, o anong materials yung gamit niyo. Next, when you see crop it, the most used illustration, making of medium of your works, because it is described as cheap, versatile, mistakes can be done easily or erased. Like what we have, that the pencil that we are using, and other, no, things that we are most no and familiar one no? uh, type of um, writing or drawing or making illustration of something so this art has ability of making a wide no spectrum of shading so depending on the weight you apply no by a person so merong mabigat to merong magaang lang kamay it depends on that one so that is one example of drawing to grab it pencil, downward to our charcoal, the burnt wood one, as to make no as a masterpiece of somebody who are uh, great no on making of this uh, artworks. So like you produce no darker tones, like of the harsh looks that you applied on it, on the shades, on a particular uh, part of the subject matter or the space that you want to create no or the one that you want to portray in the picture of your drawing as to use charcoal or burnt wood. Next, the pen or pen and ink. This one is another one of the most no and the popular medium that been drawing no are used in the drawing one. And these are using no medium in a smooth and consistent shape, intensity relative to ease at uh, to ease and use. And of course, the affordability, aside from the permanent nature, as to characteristics, no, the meron siya. So these are maybe available in our leading uh, stores, uh, other shops, bookstores, and many more, no. If you want to wish to use this one. Okay, so we have understanding of pastels. So these are the colored chalks, no, usually compressed into stick one like what we have in the pen and other handling materials no, as to characterized by a soft, soft, subtle changes in tone or color one as you wish to apply on it. Pastel pigment, no, these are resonant quality more on the difficult to obtain with the graphite or the charcoal one because it has no I think tone of color na binabanggit kasi popular to in many no because of many variant no colors that we have like what we have in obtaining no with the graphite or a charcoal na meron tayo or unlike with the graphite and a charcoal one like what we have in Picasso's portrait of the artist mother from 1986 no so it's emphasized on the qualities of making use of puzzles one next we know that drawing is a foundation of two and three dimensional works for you to able to show to your client, to your audience, somebody, or to anybody that you would like to present your works, it has to begin with your idea. Or are you incorporated, no? Even in making with the digital media that expands with a high technology use of the formal expressions that we have. Next, these are some of the great works of our paintings, no? And of course, as you paint, no? You also draw something like what we have in Leonardo da Vinci, you no? Know? Works, the Mona Lisa, the work of Edward Munch, na Scream, and the work of Vincent Van Gogh, The Starry Night. You've already uh, 
Peterson and uh, read the story behind the, the Mona Lisa, the Manchuan, and the Vincent Van Gogh works of Starry Night. And these are the masterpiece works during of their times and one of the old no works until now that popular known with us. Okay. So here we have the basic ingredients of making of an art works as you wish to make you no know, as a requirement of making at an art. So number one, the pigment is an essential thing for you to create you no know, a picture or a mood because it contribute with the color as you uh, as you portray what you want to 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 live in your uh, the picture what do you want to talk to us as the image you not know, the color described the binder it's something that that will hold you no know, the pigment as the solution until it become dispersed on the surface and become eventually you no know, na hold doon sa pinaka surface ng ating uh, canvas. Ang canvas natin, maraming size yan. Beginning to 20 by 30. Ito dun sa pinakamalaki na meron tayo. And yung stand niya, it depends no, on what particular uh, size of canvas do you have. And while yung solvent natin, we know that the, sol na the solvent one's not kind of ano ha, an an a uh, and uh, use of to addiction of the inhalant one. So, the solvent natin is in a mix to the paint, usually a with a brush, that dilute to the proper viso uh, viscosity or thickness before it applies to the surface that make them to be uh, pure to particularly apply to some certain uh, image and portion of your canvas as you wish to to put no yung ating pinaka ingredients. So these are the main things that you should understand well or better for you to start no your uh your talent no in making a painting or in kind of two dimensional no has to uh has to with painting again. So these are some of the paintings now that we will refer to some definition that further to understand no understanding of painting so number one or the second letter letter b is painting we know that it's an referring an application of some of pigment no a color the paint on the surface or the support no as to create a picture of it then the paint is made of pigment as to we use you know your powder colored one and as to uh, combine or mix and a vehicle or a binder of liquid that holds pigment particles together, as like at what I said, no, from the solvent one, no, from the color that you want to wish no, to apply, then para hindi para madaling matuyo, para mabilis siyang uh, hindi matuyo ka, or depending on the use of it. Next is the process of painting itself. Uh, alam yun na to that the common use of uh, materials that we use is brush. No, without the brush, you cannot even use no, spread the pigments and surface that we apply on it. No, your pictures, na gusto mo, or shape. While right now, you can use your other other materials or resources as you wish to no, to make a painting one. But for you to describe no, an understanding of painting, you must have the brush for you to create no, the acting image. Because particularly if you want to show shapes, some individuals or human beings as you want to show in your picture the subject matter you're probably no you need you know, a brush for you to able to defeat the picture of some image no na meron ka next is we have now the mediums of painting so number one we all know that a caustic paint is using a mixture of pigments and this wax no our beast wax in tawag and the resin one so, yun yung mga popularly no are uh, used before, and these are during the Greek no artists no at uh, during the Greek era no and uh, the fifth century one before Christ era naginagamit. So these are known for encaustic works, tayo mami portraits which are done at around 100 to 300 ano domino no period, and this encaustic paint no is uh 
something that is great enough for art for to be afford that uh, it will not be uh, destroyed easily to the last you now for some a period of time that until now as we we see them you no know, your beauty you no know, art nila before and as to discover their their way of making of an art the press of pigment you no know, are same thing with a mixture or mixing something with water naman or in applied to a thin layers either dry plaster or fresco seco or the wet plaster one or what we call boon fresco so these are times of the works of michael angelos no time so lam naman natin as to wish to work no yung ginawa nila to create no the sistine chapel and the rafael of singing of athens are they using yung mga uh, dry plaster dun sa uh, picture ng paintings nila as to create a uh, vibrant color one as to create their medium to make no a, a lively and more interesting as to portray yung mga subject matter no na kanilang idea in the picture so yung Raphael School of Athens we know that yung Cleopatra and Aristotelian nagpapakita ng significance of the uh, philosophy no? and they are the one called the father one no and while in Sistine Chapel ceiling no is uh, the one or reflecting on the biblical characters no and many more like yung ating ano yung yung man and yung si Jesus and uh, not, not just the, the god one that has to wish to connect with us and many more so you can apply on it like one uh, meron tayo as as you we know to make your subject matter so we really have different no, sources of subject matter as we discussed no yung last topic the next one is tempera no like what do we have in before yung mga techniques no like yung using water yes it will be easily dry but somehow it not looks like you know, like what we have in tempera because it has characteristics of makes the fast drying one and i'm kept on thinking that you wish to use because the pigment is consists of with water soluble binding agent like what we found in the egg no ng glutinous materials yung sa egg yolk no so ganun din they have a characteristics of vibrant colors up to substitute from other ingredients of materials that did not you know, invent before and until now di na tayo depending the materials sa mga by by ano uh, organic one we are now using mga artificial di ba now it produces the vivid color for you to, to show you know, yung bright the bright one to intensify the color you know, of the uh, subject and these are the, the common no uh, use during the renaissance in medieval and we have other also uh, medium like yung oil no yung water color acrylic no and these are yung ating mga commonly used and popular in this nowadays no that we have so next is yung oil paint alam niyo naman yan yung oil paint natin if you want to use this one make sure that you are 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 or yung tinatawag na hustler no? or your ma- you master the way of how to to apply oil paint because you probably know will be a uh, shop of the amazing characteristics of this one for you to to see no the effect sinagalaw siya uh, na not literally nagalaw but na mabilis siyang kumala no and that one is kind of a uh, that they want no from other ma- uh, artists because of their characteristics of vibrancy and distinct quality from other uh, mediums in the painting it's like what do we have now from the early slides and this all paint consists of pigment again that mixed with oil no and it's binder commonly licensed oil that they have no to to for you to the dilute no the powder mixed materials to for you to to create the color that you desire no to apply on your subject matter or in your painting and the popular during the time of renaissance no, is still widely i'm ah, sorry that that one is all paint no that popular in making of the arts no and renaissance is one of the one of uh great users no and until now it is being used no up to this day the watercolor the elementary days high school 
the one that we use no uh, to create an arts no or subject matter one and our uh, map subjects and the arts course we have so these are the quiz liquid no so you know that one transparent layers as the pink and it composed no the Arabic Arabic gum water and which serve as the binder for you to 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 have this color na meron ka kasi kung tuyo yan you will not be able no to to paint on your cardboard no or into your canvas paper is the usual surface no that they use wide no for watercolor and uh western tradition is also use this one and introduced to us the water base is also primary medium of the uh, historic no paintings in East Asia. So since um, uh, East Asia yung uh, medyo late or delay, kasi kung titignan natin, and during the 1884 period of Rizal, even the period of Panduna and Felix Resurrection Hidalgo, Agustin Saez has to brought here no yung school, yung Escuela de Pintura, de Bujo, during that time. These are the school no of thought ng mga paintings no that's why no yung ating mga people before that go around to the Europe like si uh yung ating naging artist no si uh, Fernando Amor Solo and other fine art students and till now no nakilala yung mga arts nila I go to the Europe just to study yung mga arts na meron tayo and sabi ko nga before Europe is the central no uh a mother of the artistic no or arts no that time so lahat ng mga meron tayo yung classic types of arts that they have came from or influenced by them no na meron sila next is yung acrylic no yung acrylic lagi niyo naririnig yan napapansin niyo sa mga bookstore no or sa other uh, uh leading store na meron tayo you will be easily no uh, locate this one as to number one requirements or ingredients to make an a painting one for you no but this one is expensive no and it has no dark variant of colors that you will choose no to use the uh, painting one na meron tayo so again this is an industrial work no during the 1930s and it's a pigment suspended synthetic vehicle ganun pa rin yung ginamit nating uh binder no ang binder kasi is synthetic that will hold to the pigment that we have the solvent one the one who will uh put on the surface as to wish to create no yung will be easily to try will be easily to to uh to dilute the entire pigment that you have then depending on the usage and application and at the same time acrylic and something that will imitate no, the effects of the different characteristics of watercolor oil paint and it has a versatility na tinatawag so versatility yung versatile natin na tinatawag you are flexible to such a kind of popular arts as you wish to use no in the more artists right now or even you even if you are not an artist or as you, you wish not to create Colors are used to create no harmonies, contrast, unity, and variety of paintings. So these are called the elements of painting. So this one, if we're not now going to use the colors, we will not create no a harmonies or contrast, unity, and variety of images for you to able to show your your atmosphere, your idea, and the concept. No, these are the main uh, reason why colors is important in creating no, an artworks. And you know that color has a primary color, it's no, the RBY, the red, blue, and yellow one. So you will be easily memorize this one by looking at the flag of the Philippines. So it has the color red, the blue, and the yellow. You know, just the white, ha, the color and white. Colors have a different intensities and values, complementary colors you know, that we have, and as to wish you know, to create, you know, to put, you know, and uh to mix them no to create na a uh neutral or a warm color one or yung ating tinatawag na cool color one so yung mga neutral colors natin are from the silver the one that we have the color white no the warm the red the cool the one that we have and many more no 
And color can be used to create a mood and emotional quality. Have you no know, color connotation, white, red, orange. So these are some of the information that you could be uh, interpret by using white. That is pure, innocent, emptiness, calm, you no, know, uh, spiritual or faith. Red is radical emotion, anger, aggressive, excitement. It could be love, diba? So orange could be unpredictable and changing. Many more, diba? And it could be used you know, for uh, attraction for somebody who are hungry, you know, like what we have in Inasal. It's an orange color. The green is promising. Uh, Presuiting and a pleasant one. Our prosperity. It's like what the other said. Yellow is covered this sun and formal, you know, the way they describe, you know, that the one. Blue, clarity, severe, formal, low spirit, reliable, and sincere for blue. For imperial, uh, is the purple. Relating to a king and queen, articulate show is something, uh, showing some kind of emotion, and many. And some of the elements of painting are same with the other elements you know, of the arts that we have on the principles, like line. The line is something that with an extension or a point. But, so if you want to form you know, a shape, you have to see to it that every lines that you have will meet each other and to create a point of shape. Right? And two kinds of lines are static and dynamic. These are such as this, no, is stillness or static. And these are vertical, oblique, or horizontal lines. So as you wish to dynamic, these are force or notion that curve lines, the gorgeous strokes one that we have. So in painting or in our drawing, of course, for you to be able to create an art form, you have to see to it that the use of the following lines are particularly talking to the images of this one. No, or many ideas that you want to portray, or you do not use these elements no, as you wish to try no, to create and painting. Some are size, shape, texture, color, the same thing. So, for example, size, the magnitude of the book of an object, is like what I said from the past one, shape, then physical form, texture, the coarseness, no, or the, the, uh, the tactile one no, of the smoothness of the materials that been used. The color, no, the appearance, which is the name, the you, no, and what do we have is the some of the uh, uh, elements no, of colors, primary, secondary, and tertiary. So, pag sinabi primary, these are the color red, blue, and yellow. They are the original colors na tinatawag. And because they cannot be pro produced, no, or be produced from any color combination. So it will not be easy not to create another one. So that's why we created secondary. These are green, violet, and orange. By forming these two, uh, yung primary colors na meron tayo, it will be creating green, violet, and orange. No? Wala namang red, yellow. Wala namang blue, yellow. Wala namang red, yellow. Tama. So wala namang red, blue. Diba? So walang ganun na way. So that's why, as to wish not to combine with this, it will result to green, to violet, to orange. Next, the tertiary one. So when we form this combining both primary and secondary, these are the blue-green, these are the blue-violet, orange, red-orange, red-violet, red, yellow-orange, and yellow-green. So that will be now the result. And monochromatic color is the result of using different degrees of lightness and brightness of any color. So that will be you know, uh, the intensity, you know, natin, and the lightness, and the brightness. Okay? Okay, that will be, I think, the end of our discussion for this afternoon. So we're gonna go to uh, stop sharing, going back to the Google Meet Home. And 